Hey guys, and welcome back to Eternal Darkness. Blind. In the last part, the power was knocked out, and now I have to restore it somehow. Okay. The workings of the pipe organ remain mostly the same since installation. Originally, the bellows were driven manually. Now they are steam-powered and the organ controlled electrically. This might be one of the oldest restored pipe organs in the world. Cool. Okay. So, what do I do about that? Do I... Let's see. I've got flash powder. <laughs> can that do anything? A lucky penny? Maybe I can put that in there or something? Maybe that'll... <laughs> I don't know. Check. Um, okay. Okay, I can't use the lucky penny. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking it might have been like... You know how sometimes you get like... You know, I don't, I don't even know what it would be. But sometimes you get things that... Oh. Okay, now what? More from the douchebag grandfather. Taking a while to appear there, huh? Ah, sweet Alex. Many centuries I've waited for you. You are mine. Don't disappoint me now. I've waited such a long time, Alex. Never. I know what you are. I've seen what happened. You can try to fight me, but in the end, you shall succumb to my desires. Creepy. My foolish child, you don't even know your own destiny. Get away from me. So her dad was Augustus, or grandpa, her, her grandpa was Augustus the whole time? Okay, whatever. Let's go this way. Hey, hey! Oh no, I shot her in the back of the head! Oh my god, I just executed that woman. No, no, not her! Target the enemy! Jeez! I'll save you! Ow! Get off! That's not nice! That's not nice at all. Ow. Ow. <laughs> they both jumped on me at the same time. Oh, uh, you know what? Screw you. You're on your own. Have fun. <laughs> Such a douchebag. Can I have a torch? I would really like a torch. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'd help, but I wouldn't. Whoa, this room's kind of creepy now. Jeez. This is obviously not one of the rooms they kept up with. <laughs> There's some bullets here. Don't know why that's here. Yay, a sword. Thank you. Hey, is that Anthony's two-edged sword? And finally not use freaking stupid guns. <laughs> that's the one time you'll ever hear me say, like, hello? Mix with bullets. Thank you. Disobedient little prick. Okay. <laughs> um, that's the one time you'll ever hear me say in any game, like any horror game or game where you have to rel uh, regularly fight enemies, that guns suck. Because in this game, they do. They give you no ammo, and they're really only useful to kill the big things. And you don't find those very often. Ranged weapons in this game suck so bad. Okay. So now I can enchant this with red. The antithesis of green. I can... Now I have a Charmander sword. And now I can go and use it against the Bulbasaur enemies. Aha! Have you already been, like, assimilated? Looks like it. Die. Stop missing! Oh my god, you're so useless. You're not as fat as the other guy, because... Oh, thank you. See, that's what I'm talking about. One combo. That's all it should take. For guns, it should be a one-shot kill. I don't care. You have limited ammunition, and it's a gun. Just let me kill it instantly. 
Okay. The Elder Stanch wreathed in a cold mist as Peter nears the stone. A sense of deep woe gnaws at his heart. Okay. Okay. So yeah, the place is evil. Hey, can I kill one of these rats? Uh, no. I think you can... I'm pretty sure you can target them with your... I bet you can target them with your gun. That'd be pretty funny if you could just kill the rats for no reason. It's like, oh, I'm a douchebag. Get out of here. Nope. Aha. Nope. Oh, you freaking mechanic. You come back to bite me in the ass again. Getting really sick of that mechanic. Where you can hit the freaking walls. Ugh. I want to strangle the developer that came up with that. That's so annoying. Man. Time to heal some health. Okay. Sword is still red. So let's go. Quick. We'll use Ember on the Bulbasaur zombies. If I'm not super freaking slow. Die, die, die. God. Just die, thank you. Okay. Boom. Haha. -ha. So now, what do we got here? Place where Anthony died. Oh, <gasps> thank you! Why do you give me the torch so late? Man, is that a grenade? Oh no, it's rifle ammo. I'd be happy with a grenade. Nice. Box of medical supplies awaiting use and treatment. Covered with buddy wing prints. It's hard to tell whether they actually use to save lives or just reveal you the suffering. Okay. The room has been converted into a room of terror for the morgue. Blood stained sheets cover the unfortunate souls who have passed beyond. This is the morgue? There were more dead bodies in the other room. You know, the other one. Um. Okay, so what do I use this torch for exactly? Anything? Or is it just light, essentially? Okay. Medical supplies. Stop bleeding at me. Nothing here. Uh, aside from the torch, that is. Okay, so was the whole point of this area of the thing just to get me a little bit better armed? Is that really it? Okay, so I don't see anything else here. I'm going to check this other room up here just to be safe, though. Oh, boy. Here we go again. But hey, I, I am at least making some form of progress. You know, I'm not just totally stuck blundering around wondering what to do. Okay. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, so there's nothing in here, as far as I know. Okay. Oh, wait, a pipe? Uh, okay, I can't examine that pipe. Okay, the shelves once full of books, the scrolls are now rife with dust, bearing nothing but trash and debris. Okay, and yes, yes, I know, it's debris. I'm just saying debris because it's funny, even though it's not. So I'm just saying it for no reason. Anyway, get out of my way, dead body. You're inconveniently placed. Um, I respect the dead. Oh, hey, wait, didn't this used to have light? Oh, well, yeah, the power's out. What am I, jeez. <laughs> Oh, moron. Go away. Go away. Go away. You hear me? Don't be punching me. Ow. You punched me. You're an incredibly weak servant of the dark gods. Do you know that? You know, while the game has face huggers and horrors and stuff like that, you're... Haha, uh -huh. you died. Because I killed you. Hey, hey, I totally ran away. That's going. Oh, ugh. What are we going by, freaking Mario logic here, where you can change the direction of your freaking jumps in midair? Is that the logic we're going for here, people? Because I do not believe that that logic fits in, into the place of this logic, where we have ancient Cthuloid devil gods that want to take over the world. I will not accept you being able to change the direction of your jumps. <laughs> God. But, oh well. At least now I have a stable weapon. And a torch. That's the most important thing. Okay. Let's try this again. What do we got back here? Oh, you again. <laughs> oh, I just walk in. Oh, you. 
And then I just walk out. And he doesn't even do anything. That's pretty good. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and chant my sword again. Because I can't do anything about those guys with the torch. Hunter Block, Porgon, Santac, Argon, Argon, Arrowcath. Okay. And we got it. Oh, Time to die. Oh, he's just standing there. Die. <laughs> I killed him in two hits. Man, that's awesome. Okay. So, where can I go from here? Like, what else is there? I can't really think of anything. I guess I could... Maybe I gotta bring the torch into, like, the clock tower or something. Or, clock tower. Um, you know what I mean. Uh, nothing here. There's a bunch of dead bodies. Ugh. You know what would actually be really cool? Is if, um... Like, let's say you're in a really, really dark room and you have to bring a torch into a room to light it up. Um. Oh, screw you! Man! All the women just hate Brendan Fraser. All the women. Ow. Or at least all the nurses. And come on, guys. There, You can't deny it. At one point, you've wanted to do the hot nurse. Come on. You can't deny it, but okay. Anyway, um, one thing that I think would be cool is that if you brought a torch into a dark room, and as soon as you lit the room, like, there's nothing in the room when it's dark. You know, when you first go in there, you're kind of terrified that it's like, oh god, there's going to be crap in here that I can't see. And so you go in there for a little while, you explore a little bit, and then, you know, there's nothing in there. It's like, oh, okay, good. There's nothing in here. And then as soon as you light the torch, there's stuff in there, and it starts attacking you. God, that'd be good. That could that would probably work best in a movie, though, honestly. Oh, hey, check this out. Soldier's letter. Did I miss this before? I never even noticed it last time. Okay, number two. Okay, I've been here over a week now, and there's no word when I'll be allowed to leave. Strange things have happened. Uh, wait, what is this guy? Reginald Jackson. Okay. Ugh. <sighs> Strange things have happened at the night. At night, the, the sounds of the hotel chain. Er, pff, sounds of the hotel. <laughs> sounds of the hospital change. Echoes of voices that don't belong to anyone haunt the walls and corridors. The restless ghosts, perhaps, or sounds of movement or whispers. I've seen war firsthand, and the sounds at night in this hospital scare me more than I ever thought possible. What is going on here tonight? Why do I feel so threatened? My fears are worsened by the talk of the other young soldiers. One said he heard cries from the middle of the middle of the night. Cries are always armed rage and not compassion. <laughs> yeah, because if you're calling out for help, you want your calls to be answered by snarls of compassion. God. Another said Lance Corporal Heskill has not been discharged, but had been gone missing. I stared at his empty bed with a sense of unholy dread gnawing at my heart. Why ambulance? Call it now for this person. <sighs> Whoa, jeez. That kind of scared me. There wasn't any there wasn't anybody in here before. Jeez. Okay. You gonna break open? Thank you. Whoa, jeez. That's new. I think. I've never seen a blue one before. Uh what the frick was that? Okay, so is there nothing here? I'm looking up. No, no, no. Oh, I hate that. Because I keep hitting Y. I don't know why. <laughs> Get it? Um. Hello? You want to cast a spell? Thank you. I keep hitting Y. I don't. I honestly don't really know why I keep hitting it, but every time I do that, it casts a recover health spell, and that, like when I move to stop the casting, it wastes my magic. So that's really annoying. Okay, so I've killed. I've now killed a nurse with a special face hugger or chest burster, and I do not know what to do anymore. Oh boy. I know what I need to do, it's just I don't know what I need to do in order to accomplish that. Wait a minute, have I even taken the torch down into that area? I don't think I have. 
And I know that, like, I know people are probably screaming at me, why don't you freaking use the, what's it called on the green wall? You know, you gotta use the freaking dispel magic on the wall. I'm sure people are screaming that at me, but the green thing on the wall, it has a seven point circle around it. See, I'll show you. I don't think I can open this yet. See, it's seven points, not five. So I don't think I can do anything with that yet. I need a seven point. So, I gotta go down here with the torch and fix this freaking, what's it called? This organ. Because I would assume that I need to play the organ to open that little chest thing to get a seven point power sigil or whatever. That's just my assumption. Uh, like the Mar Marie Celeste, the desk hasn't been touched in some. <laughs> All right, hasn't been touched in some time. As though its user f suddenly turned away, never returned. A half-written letter bespeaks silent, unfinished activity. Can I read the letter? No. Okay. Okay. How about this room? Um. Okay. A desk kept meticulously clean. Peter is surprised it is not more chaotic in a, for a frontline hospital. After all, is this where the death certificates are written? <laughs> um, nothing there. Because, you know, when death certificates are written, it's always very chaotic and jumbled. It wouldn't be, like, in a calm place. It's like, they're reading, they're screaming as they're writing, Oh God, he died! This guy was born then, and he's dead now! You know, that would just be... That would, that's how you write a death certificate, like screaming as you do it. Um, okay, I can't do anything there, I guess. Um, have I, oh, what am I doing? Um, oh, are these doors? I didn't even notice that these were doors. Oh, the generator, okay. Cool, okay. So this is what I need to do. I didn't even notice that these were doors. I thought they were just walls. Uh, perched on the wall beside the generator is an open fuse box. <laughs> fuse box, ding. Uh, all right, a fuse appears to be missing. There's no sign of where it could be. Put a copper penny in there. Put the penny. Yup, I knew it. In place of the missing fuse, it fits quite nicely, but there isn't any power running through the circuit. Nothing happens. Peter retrieves it. Oh. <laughs> so what, we're not gonna leave it there? Why would you do that? Okay. Yes. There's a grating sound of metal on metal, but nothing else. There's no steam coming into the generator. Okay. So what am I supposed to do now? I gotta go f make steam? <laughs> okay. How am I gonna make steam? Uh, just checking. Just thought I'd look. Okay, no. Anyway. Let's try the other door. Here we go. The door is unlocked, but it won't open. It's as if there's a large object on the other side walking its movement. Okay. Uh, old, rusty, but faithful for many years, a coal-burning boiler provides heat and steam to the cathedral. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Ooh, hey, I got it. Yes, there's a hole there. So, okay, but wait. First, I gotta, I gotta discuss this. The power got knocked out by an artillery blast. So does that mean the artillery walked inside the cathedral, came down here, and turned the valve? <sighs> okay. So, I'm going to summon a trapper. Because I am super smart. And I now know what I must do when faced with this kind of a situation. Yup. Aha! Get out of the way. Okay. So, what do I do now? Do I send his body to the void? Oh, poof. Okay, so I'm dead. Awesome. Frickin' awesome. There's a suicide button! What can I do with the trapper again? I don't even remember. Well, I need to, I want to get in there now. Oh, and okay. Wait a second. This guy is so weak 
that he can't push a door with a guy behind it? Come on! Ugh. And you know, let me see, what do we have here? We got a two-edged sword, we got a gun, okay, I was about to say, you know, we don't have anything we could just bash this hole open a little bit wider with? Come on. But okay, now that we're about 20 minutes in, I'm going to end it off. In the next part, we're going to see if we can get past this door, so I'll see you guys then.